Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today has been a long time coming. Actually about a year, give or take. Why so long? Because I wanted everything to match up perfectly. We're talking about fresh ground burger. You got me? You guys know I love my ribeyes. We bought them on sale, bone-in ribeye. We got our beef uh, short ribs that we saved from our Biera, Biera, Biera. And also I got my filet fat trimmings when we butchered that whole filet tenderloin. All right. Yes, you have a video for that. I do. All right, so the point is we got just standard ground chuck, 80-20. I don't know the fat composition if I'm going 80-20, 10-90, 90 or 10. I have no clue, but I do know that with these three ingredients is got to be fantastic, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is just cut the meat into one inch cubes, okay? This is already cut pretty much, and then I'm gonna freeze them for about 30, 45 minutes-ish. They always say that when you grind your meat, you want it cold because the warmer it gets, the more gummier it gets. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's go. All right, so really quickly, we just brung it out of the freezer. It's been about 25, 30 minutes-ish. You're just trying to fill it for like firmness, okay? Not really rock hard frozen, but that thin line of like just soggy wet meat versus like dry firm meat. Uh, we have regular ground beef today because the whole point of this video is, is it worth it to take the extra time to ground your meat? Is it worth it to take the time to mix and match different pieces of meat? Is it worth it to go to the grocery store and say, hey, I want one pound of this. I want a half a pound of this. So today, this is what it's been just all building up to, right? All right, really quickly on my little mixer, I'll put a link in the description below. To be honest with you, I don't use it enough to know right from wrong. I don't use enough to know if I like it or don't like it. It's done everything I've wanted to do, but I've never had another one that's done better or worse. It just grinds what I need to, okay? So... I'm just going to set this aside. I really don't need it. It just kind of sits up here. Uh, really quickly, it comes with instructions. I actually keep instructions because I use it so rarely that sometimes I forget how to put it together. So I keep this and all the pieces together. All right, here we go. So low. Small batches is the key, and everything is going to be mixed up. I do have the coarse grind mixer or attachment in here. And just get a good uh, mix. All right, now that we got our fresh grind done, all I'm doing is making these burgers right here for the girls. We're going to be able to test one of them today to see if there's actually a difference. So I'm going to get these patted up, show you guys how to do one of those. Here, we'll do it real quick. Now, with the grind, it's a little bit different. Okay, the texture's different. This is more like pellets. I know they say don't smash your burgers, but on this stuff, since it's it's a it comes out different, I'm not going to do a smash burger. I want this. Look at all that fat in there. Look at all that. Mm. I want this to be a nice thick burger. Okay, maybe a medium somewhere through there. So I'm going to pat it out just like that. Okay, so I'm going to get all these done. Look at all that fat. Look at the difference. All right, I've already went ahead and pre-seasoned, or just not pre seasoned I just went ahead and seasoned the regular patties, okay? So what I'm gonna do, we have fought back and forth. She's on one side of the fence, I'm on the other side of the fence, okay? I don't wanna add any toppings, I don't wanna add any cheese, I don't wanna add anything. I wanna see, is it worth it? Is it worth it to spend the extra time, the extra money, the extra equipment, the extra everything to have an incredible style, pub-ish, upscale burger? So all I'm doing is gonna put salt, Fresh crab pepper. I'm coming in with my favorite seasoning. Just a touch. I don't want to overpower it. Okay. Flip them over. Now, I do have some brioche buns today. I've been dying to try them. We don't get a lot of... Look at my rice coming out. You guys know you live in the South when you got rice in your salt shaker. <laughs> um... 
but we got some brioche buns today because I just wanted that texture, that soft, that soft, buttery, sweet texture just to offset it. All right. The flat top grill has been preheating. I just went from low, in between low to medium low on all my burners. It's been preheated on low. We've got it up to about 450. And now we've got it in between medium and low and let the, the heat build. So I'm going to put the regular burgers on this side. I did have my butter at room temperature before he came out here. And it's so cold that it's already hardened up. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of butter. It's about 30 degrees outside. Yeah, and I'll tell you, being under this patio, you don't get the sun and you can tell it. Whew, it's cold. Dang, that smells good. It does smell super good. Yeah, let's try this. Look, so we went out all for the burger, right? We're just talking about the burger itself. I upgraded the bun just a little bit just because I wanted to try it. But I'm curious, we've got several burgers in our playlist already. What kind of upgraded burger would you guys like to see? This is where I'm on the fence. Hear me out. Maybe like some fried crispy onions, like homemade buttermilk floured with a Cajun seasoning. Maybe throw some jalapenos in there. Maybe do a rich burger, like I call it a rich burger, but like rich in flavor. Uh, a deeper flavored burger. Maybe some uh, um, borzen cheese something like that just to mix it up like crazy so you guys comment below and tell me like a just an off the wall upscale burger pub style maybe we can mix bacon and onions and make an onion bacon jam to put on one you guys let me know and we'll make it all right guys so we try to let it build the crust as much as possible i've said it in uh previous videos when you're doing burgers allow enough space to flip in a hot spot we covered it on the does flat top grill temperatures matter? This is the point. You never want to put a burger, I mean, you can, in the same spot, because this spot here is going to be a little bit colder. So what we're going to do, see that circle? Right next to it, look at that crust. Just like anything else, I'm cooking to a medium today. So I'm using my fancy dancing thermometer. This is one I say I use all the time. So I'm getting close to 130. That's my target temperature today. So just because you put the burgers on the flat top at the same time, doesn't mean they're gonna be done at the same time. So these are the 80-20 regular yep. ground beef. Those, the kids are getting those. <laughs> yeah, they don't get the special. <laughs> Go ahead and while there. Plenty of residual heat toast our brioche buns and you just got a little butter on them just a little bit there we go nice little toast Woo, them things softened up a little bit if you haven't had brioche buns they got like a sweet taste on them. they're pillowy i wouldn't say they're completely different than a standard hamburger bun but they are um they are different all right here we go so the ones facing you guys are going to be the standard god those buttons smell so good right and then here we go back in with one of these steak burgers i don't know i don't know if it really matters we'll call it fair just grab one and say the heck with it so this is the triple meat fresh ground yep just like we did so what we did oh we didn't put mayonnaise on it i know oh Oh, my wife said we can't have a burger without mayonnaise, so here we go. Just a little bit. That way they're both equal. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, we're going to cut them in half. That's 80-20. Yep. That's gonna be the just like that. Right, oh, you ready? can already you can already tell this one's better. Can you? Just juicy. You just see it. Just yeah. I'm gonna try the regular one first because I know my mouth buds, my taste buds know what to expect. Okay, give me a bite. 
Dang, that's yep. good. <laughs> you ever wonder sometimes if we Dang, overdress that's good. it? That that's incredible. That's good. <laughs> just a store bought eighty twenty chuck. It wasn't even a mix. It was just pure chuck. Mm. It's that bun. It's the bun. I told you. All right. Here's this one. Okay, let me try. <laughs> I mean, I might start eating hamburgers if we start getting these buns. That is a. I don't. I can be. You may be honest with the crowd. Is it worth it? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Is it that much worth it? Maybe not. That dang 80-20, for some reason, mm. with that crust on there, you don't have to worry about smashing it. It's got plenty of juice, the bun. You know what it is? High five. It's it's the cook. It's not oh, the shit. meat. It's the cook. You're just too good. <laughs> so am I devaluing the ribeye, the beef short rib, and the filet trimmings? They're both super good. <laughs> As, hey, it's a pretty cool contest. I'm just being straightforward. I think both of them are out. If you, had them, if you did like a half and half, I don't think you'd know the difference. We didn't over season it. We didn't over dress it. And the actual beef flavor is coming through. I mm. do think, if I had to be honest, you do get a little bit more chew because of the steak mix that we put in there. And I do think, if I had to be honest, a hair more beefy flavor on the steak side. But it definitely seems like it's moister. Like the, the fresh well, brown one is definitely moister. Whereas the 80-20 kind of seems like the meat is just like drier. Well, I mean, like I said, I have no idea if I did 80-20 or 10-90. I mean, you can see how much fat was in there. We put a whole probably half pound of just uh, beef tenderloin fat in a ribeye that's already naturally marbled along with beef short rib. And the reason why that people use beef short rib, you know, like a concoction would be like sirloin, brisket, and beef short rib. I mean, you can name your three of what you want to do. I think it's pretty cool. I think if my dad came over and was like, hey, I want a burger for Father's Day or something like that, I would definitely try to upgrade the burger in a, in a situation like this just to do something different. And that's what it's all about, to get on the flat top, to try something different, and just have a banging ass burger. Because I'm telling you, these bad boys are going to be gone as soon as that video ends. I'm even going to eat a burger. And the bun. <laughs> hey, real quick, show them what buns we use because those are good buns. I just found them at Kroger. They're just a brioche bun. I know my local Publix has them. Uh, but we're just in Kroger today and just found them. So right there, just a, uh, right here, brioche bun. There you go, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. And remember, comment below. Let's upgrade the burger. Let's get a couple ideas together. And let's see what we can really do. Peace. Okay.